I hope you had a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Uh, I missed my 1.30 live today, but I wanna talk about, I wanna talk and teach you a simple technique to sleep better at night. We know sleep is medicine. We know sleep is gold. Everyone knows the importance of sleep, but yet a lot of us struggle. And there are many, many things that we can do, right from switching off your gadgets an hour before bedtime, having you know cool down techniques, doing a little bit of breathing exercises, a little bit of yoga asanas to sleep better, reading a book, trying to de-stress, meditate. So this simple technique of us, I learned it, it's not my own technique. I learned it from the ancient wisdom of yoga. And a lot of you would have heard it, a lot of you would have practiced it already. If you start doing it tonight, it may not really work. It may take two nights, three nights, four nights, wait patiently. You understand that when we can't sleep it well, we sleep well at night, we've got to retrain the body into sleep. The breathing exercise I'm teaching you today is extremely simple. And all you need to do is sit with your back straight. You can sit cross-legged on the floor. You can sit in the chair with your back straight, good posture. All you do is cover your right nostril. That's it. And you inhale and you exhale through your left nostril. So you keep your right nostril closed and you inhale and you exhale from the left nostril, okay? This is the simplest way to move you from the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight and flight, to the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. You cannot sleep in the sympathetic nervous system. You may fall asleep into a very disturbed, light sleep. And a lot of people say, Luke, I slept, but I wake up tired. But when you're in the parasympathetic nervous system, that is rest and digest, that is the perfect perfect state of the body to induce deep sleep. Now you can do five counts, you can do 10 counts, you can do 15 counts, you can do 20 counts. It's up to you, it's up to you. Now don't do this and then wait in bed for sleep to come, sleep to come. Just get into bed, close your eyes, say your prayers, meditate a little bit and sleep. If it doesn't work today, try tomorrow and then day after, but keep trying until it works. After a while, even just five deep breaths through your left nostril can actually help you feel calmer. What I like to do is the second step. Finish five to 10 breaths and just close your eyes and meditate. When I say meditate, what do I mean? Just focus on your inhale and focus on your exhale. Or focus on a particular word. Like let's say you wanna put a word abundance or you wanna put a, lo a word love. You wanna put two words, thank you. And just keep focusing on that word or those two words. Keep looking at them, focusing at them, focusing it on, uh, focusing on it and feeling it. That's what you can do as well. Because a nice way for you to move into a meditation, again, a lot of people sit down and they try to meditate. You can't meditate when you're in sympathetic nervous system. So you can move from sympathetic to parasympathetic nervous system. So today's exercise is simple, just before bedtime. And you don't wanna do this exercise and then open up your phone and put on your gadgets and stuff like that. You know, you don't wanna start suppressing melatonin again. So I'll repeat the exercise, back straight, good posture. All you need to do, cover your right nostril, okay? And inhale and exhale through your left nostril. As you get better with this, you wanna focus on a deep, slow inhale. It's not a competition. So go at your own pace and then an equally or a longer, slower exhale through your left nostril. By the time you're done with the fifth count, you're gonna to start to feel this calmness in your head automatically. Move to, move to 10, move to 15, move to 20. It's up to you, don't overdo it. More doesn't mean better results. The whole idea is to drop cortisol, drop adrenaline, calm down the body. This is a yogic way of breathing and you can study more of this online, but I like to keep it simple. As simple as that, just do it. As simple, it works for you, great. Doesn't work for you, doesn't work for you. But you lose nothing by trying. We've had people off sleeping medication after three to four weeks of doing this practice and they realize that, wow, I'm sleeping deeply. They go over to their doctors and they tell their docs we're sleeping better now. So the doctor reduces the dosage and slowly weans them off. So if it's possible with other people, make it possible for you. We need to understand that I'm not against sleeping medication, I'm against the misuse of sleeping medication, where people don't make an effort to sleep better. They don't make an effort to change their lifestyle. They don't, they don't make an effort to deal with anxiety. Of course, sometimes you're going through trauma or extreme grief and stuff like that. Yes, they're absolutely fantastic tools to help you sleep deeply until the trauma or the traumatic period is over. But everyone else, they just use it as a quick fix. Can't sleep, pop a pill. 
guess what? That pill is also slowing down your entire metabolism. It's also causing side effects and after a while, the dosage that you're taking today won't be sufficient and you'll increase your dosage more and more. Then you'll see the weight gain happen, the hormonal imbalance, and let me make it simple. If you're taking a sleeping medication, I don't usually ask people to Google, but go onto WebMD and check the side effects of your medication and I hope that inspires you to slowly try to work with your lifestyle and get off that medication. Okay, use it as inspiration, not as fear. If you need the medication, take it. But always put that plant, that seed in your mind that this isn't the best thing for me. There are other ways to overcome my sleep problems and sleep better. Simple technique, everyone try it out tonight and let me know how that works for you. The problem is a lot of people want quick fixes and instant gratification. So they do it today and they say, hey, it didn't work tomorrow. This is horrible and they don't try it again. You're not entitled to anything at the time you want it. Anything that's natural will take time to work. So do it for five days, 10 days, 15 days. We've had people who did it for 25 days and then they started to feel better. It's worth it. It's free. It doesn't cost you money. A little bit of effort, a little bit of discipline, and a little bit of the right attitude. Have a good night, everyone.